What's going on guys? I'm back for another Get Ready With Me reaction talk. This time we are talking Game of Thrones and I'll be doing this sunset halo eye look. I can't believe Game of Thrones is tomorrow! Tomorrow, I'm so fucking hyped, dude. I know all of you are excited. I know the entire world is just going to explode. Like, we, I cannot believe it is already time for season seven. I'm gonna have a special guest on my channel for the season seven premiere. Uh, he's basically my brother. I only have two people that I've ever called my brothers, and uh, he's one of them. His name's Brian. Fucking loves Game of Thrones just like all of us. So, like, one of the main things I'm the most excited about is Danny getting to Dragonstone because it has been a long six seasons trying to get this girl back in Westeros, and now she's there. She's ready to fucking conquer. I want to see the dragons again. Oh my god, I fucking love them. The creatures in this show are like one of my favorite things about it. Like, I love their direwolves. I love. Their dragons, like I love it all. I cannot wait to see what's going on up in the north because the last thing that we saw with them was everybody claiming John as their king. Sophie Turner, the actress that plays Sansa, said in an interview at the end of season six, explaining what she feels Sansa is feeling, and she was saying how like she feels like John isn't giving Sansa enough credit and all this stuff. And I was like, dude, he literally sat there and said, take mother and father's room. You deserved it. You won us the war. We wouldn't, we would have lost if the Knights of the Vale didn't come. And she's just sitting there saying, oh, well, John's not giving me a recognition. I should be queen, you know? And then poor Sansa has freaking stupid ass Littlefinger in her ear. Littlefinger is a freaking hard bug to kill. But I really think that he's going to die this season. I mean, I like him just for the fact that he's playing the Game of Thrones, just like Varys, but I fucking hate him and I really want him to die. <laughs> in the trailer, we got to see Bran warging uh, into the Ravens and, you know, basically spying on the Night's King. And he fucking, of course, sees him again and Bran has to hop out of his vision, but that's going to be really cool. I know that we're probably not going to get the actual White Walker battle until season eight, but I really hope that we get just like a little taste of it. I know that Jon Snow and a couple people go way past the wall up in the north. So something has to be going on there. Another thing I am so fucking stoked for is Arya coming back to Winterfell. I know Bran comes back because in the trailer you see him sitting by the weirwood tree. But I, I just want a full-blown Stark reunion. They have had it so fucking shitty for the longest fucking time, and it's about time that the Starks win. First win was Battle of the Bastards, they got their home back. Second win, everybody comes together, and they find a way to handle these fucking White Walkers. I wonder if Bran's gonna be the one that tells Jon Snow that he's actually a fucking Targaryen! Holy shit! And I wonder if John will even like believe it, if he'll even want to accept it. That's gonna be freaking so cool, but you know, as much as I really want that to happen, I feel like they're gonna make me wait. And it'll be like something like that happens in the first fucking episode of season 8, you know? And as far as I know, season 8 isn't happening until like freaking 2019. A lot of people actually think that because Bran is gonna cross the wall, that it's gonna fucking come down. And if it comes down, that is gonna give the fucking White Walkers access to the rest of Westeros. I wonder if there's a way that Bran can get rid of that stupid mark that the Night's King gave him. And I'm just gonna talk about something really quick that happened in season six. The whole Hodor thing. I was kind of upset that they didn't at least show Bran having some kind of like sadness about it like I know he was sad as it was happening but Hodor died that was like one of the tv show deaths that hit me so hard it was the weirdest thing ever I was so fucking sad for like the next week watched hella reaction videos cried in every single reaction video <laughs> with everybody else that was crying but you know what it had to happen I just wish Bran showed that he fucking was sorry at least like that was Hodor dude 
He carried your ass everywhere. Rest in peace, Hodor. Something else I really, 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 really want to happen in season seven is an Arya and a Nymeria reunion. We need that. I need to see Nymeria. They didn't fucking let her go, escape the wrath of Joffrey, just for fucking nothing. She's gonna come back, and I want the rumor about the wolf pack to be fucking true, and I want them to be a part of the White Walker battle. In some of the season seven pictures, you can see that John and Davos are at Dragonstone. Danny has to introduce John to a dragon, right? She has to. And then the dragon is gonna trust John because he has Targaryen blood. Maybe Danny will even wonder, like, hmm, there's something about this guy, you know? I don't know if it's gonna be like, oh, I'm related to you kind of thing, but ugh, a girl can dream. I'm just so impatient because like I know he's a Targaryen. I need him to know he's a Targaryen. What are your guys' hopes for season seven? Who do you want to die? What theory that you've heard do you want to happen? I've heard so many, I couldn't even tell you mine. I'm just fucking excited, man. This is an amazing show and Game of Thrones and Vikings are my top they shared the number one spot. Also, what were some of your guys' favorite scenes from last season? As much as I was so sad about Hodor, that was probably the best twist that has happened on the show. One thing I really, really, really loved watching was Arya face change. Now, I don't know if she had to kill that girl or like if she brought a face from the hall. I don't really care because Arya's a savage. I understand why she's such a savage. So it's all good, girl. Kill whoever you gotta kill. But I still wonder if Jacken let her take a face. And as much as I fucking hate Cersei, that whole blowing up the set thing was fucking amazing. Mad queen to the fucking max. When I saw that wildfire peeking through when Lancel was like crawling, I was like, no way, this bitch did not do it. She didn't do it. And then it fucking pans in onto the fucking time bomb. How genius was that? Amazing. I was really sad that Marjorie died and everything. I was hoping that maybe she could get out and run. But if you really look at it, the blast freaking went like hell. It just went all over the place, so I don't even think she would have gotten out. There is some talk about people thinking that Lady Olena is gonna die. I hope she doesn't, cause she's such a firecracker. And I want Cersei to die, but I'm almost positive she's not gonna die until like season eight. And there's a lot of talk that Jamie is gonna be the one that takes her out based on um, the prophecy. I think it's the Valonqar, which means that one of her younger brothers could kill her or is going to kill her. I want it to be Jamie because he killed the Mad King for trying to do exactly what Cersei actually did. And in the freaking season seven pictures, he's like next to her, with her. Like, I, I don't know what he's doing. I don't understand what he's doing. I don't know if he's like playing a role, if he's just still so in love with her. I kind of want him to like snap out of that crap and be the one that has to kill her, but I could totally see it being Tyrion. Just because of how much hate they have for each other. And that was Cersei's fault, but still. There's a rumor that Tyrion falls in love with Danny. I totally buy that because if you guys remember in season six when she presented him with the um, Hand of the Queen pin, he gave her that look. And then before that, when he was talking about uh, he's not the first man to love you and he won't be the last. Like, it kind of pauses and, like, lingers on him and he's like, has this weird face on. And I'm like, dude, are you falling in love with Danny? I wish Tyrion could catch a break and find a good lady that would love him. I wonder if he's still going to have that connection with the dragons that he had when he let them go. I would love to see Tyrion on a dragon. He doesn't have to be... Targaryen. You know, that's another thing that people are talking about. Oh, maybe Tyrion is part Targaryen. That's why the dragons are so cool with him or whatever. I don't I don't know if I buy that, but I still think that they know who's a good person and who's not. <clears throat> so I wonder if they'd let him ride them, you know? That would be a fucking treat. 
a reunion that I don't know if it will happen, but I really, really want it to happen is between Arya and Gendry. That boy has been rowing for I don't even remember how many freaking seasons. We need to see him again. I would love to see him and Arya get back together, like, because they, like, they grew up with each other, kind of, like. What are some of your guys' dream reunions or reunions that you're predicting is going to happen? All right, we are at the end. I'm just going to finish off this look with a little bit of highlight. Yes, baby. All right, guys, this is the finished look. Thanks so much for sticking around with me. Let me know what you are most excited about, what you think is going to happen, your predictions about Game of Thrones Season 7. And I'll see you guys in the season premiere. Bye.